Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial where I will show you one other interesting property which is related to the bland data. So some information about the bland data you can find it from here as I clicked on the question mark the the new bland data window is open so it's about uh, joining the two data sources. So join information from multiple sources to get a more unified view of your data. So what I meant by that is uh, here is one different demo plan sheet which is given by the Google Data Studio which is quite easy to understand and I want to reference that that you have let's say a website user in the United States so you have different regions the total number of users and the new users you may have gained for that particular month let's say you are a growing website that's why a lot of new users are coming and then you want to compare it with the uh, population information so in California you have uh, total 39 million people but in your case the number of users that you have is 7950 and out of that you got 697 it is total user now if you want to combine those two data sources so one is the demographic or the population data another is another one is your own specific data then in that case you what you do is pro do a blending of these two data sources on the basis of a common column which is region over here and get all the uh, different metrics in one single sheet so here if you see the region is present after the blending we have users which is over here and the population over here so how we can apply this information let's go ahead and see it in the front end so here we are in the sample superstore in the sample superstore we have another data set which is uh, related to the returns the returns which customers are making based on what order they placed so for that what i'm doing in i'm clicking on the add data and it is present in the google sheet the sample superstore sales and over here i have the returns sheet so i want this return sheet where the first name is having headers and I want to include hidden and filtered cells just so that every information is coming if accidentally there are some hidden rows or hidden cells and the filtered cells so i'll click add and it will going to add the data source into the system so once we have it what we need to do is click on the bland data so the bland data sheet or the bland data window is here we can adjust as you can see by going up so over here we have first data source which is the left data source and this is basically the left outer join what we will going to make so if you are aware about join left outer join basically takes all the rows from the first table and the matching rows from the second table so here by default the dimensions that has been selected is the order priority metric is record count and the date range is order date so what we can do is for our need we can add more uh, more dimension like for example we want to add customer name let's say um, we want to add uh, customer segment we want order id so we will choose the order id let's say we want product as well so maybe the product category we can add and as a metric let's add sales so sales is added over here up to us if you want to add more um, more metrics or the more dimension now let's add one more data source so over here we have got uh, multiple data sources as you can see and i can choose this returns so in case of a return you know we have uh, three column which is a status order id and record count now if you see what do we have is basically the join keys so what i did probably earlier is incorrectly uh, added the dimension in join keys so that is not right i just need the order id over there but over here in the dimension i can add all those dimension which is let's say customer name customer segment and a couple of more just for the presentation perspective the product category uh, maybe let's say something related to the shipping mode so ship mode and maybe the uh, shipping cost just to understand what what return may cost 
or order may cost in this case. So now we have order ID, which is the join key over here, as you can see in both the cases. And that's why right now it is not showing any issue. If you want to add the dimension from the second table, then we can click over here and uh, add status. There is no metric, no data range, no filters I want to add, but if I want, I can restrict it. Now, as you see, you have another option of adding another data source and you can add up till five data sources. So that's the uh, key over here. And uh, you need to be aware that what you are making is the left outer join in this case. So having a good interpretation of the results and the verification of result is always you need to make once the rows, once the blending is added in case if you have more than one data source to blend with the existing data source. So once you have this, you will click on save and the information will be come over here. As you can see, uh, the table has been populated with a lot of values over here. And, uh, and as you can see, you have a pretty huge table with the customer name, customer segment, product code, status is returned. So Diana has returned the uh, order, which is from the regular year. The order ID is this. What was the shipping cost? What was the sales? You can get all of that information. Now, if you want, you can also filter all the records, whether they were returned or not. So null indicate that order has not returned and uh, returned simply indicates that the order is returned. So in this case, what you can add is basically the filter over here. So once we have the filter and place it over here, what it shows is the dimension as the record count. So we don't want that. What we want is the status. So let's change that to status and we can add the metric just so that some count or some, let's say sum of sales, those sort of information is coming, but for now count is okay. So let's uh, go into the view mode to apply this. And now we want to apply the return. So I will just uncheck that. And what it will give us is the returned order, all the orders which have been returned. And if I want, I can move on and go ahead and see the different products which have been returned. And then, you know, some analytics related to, let's say, um, I want to understand in which category most of the returns are happening. So I add the bar chart. And in that bar chart, let's say I want the dimension product category because I want to understand in which category most of the return is happening. Uh, the record count. And uh, now if I go into the view mode and select just this, what I get is uh, 461 is the record count. So office supplies is basically the one where most of the returns are happening. So it's a problem area for me. And I really need to see what's what's going on here in the office supplies. So as you can see, the main objective was to show you the situation around blending the data. And then what are the possibilities that it opens up when you add or blend the data with the existing data set. So that's about it. And I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.